before we sort of pivot to the whole thing of phenomenology, because I want to know, it's a big word with a lot of syllables. I've heard it invoked before, especially in particle physics. But before we step there, I just want to understand how will you ever test string theory? And we know in advance that you have naysayers out there, uh, physicists among them, who are saying you're diverting time, resources, graduate students, faculty positions to something that doesn't even classify as a legitimate scientific theory or or hypothesis because you need to be able to test it. Without you the test, it, right. go home. So let me hear a, your response to that. Absolutely. I think that's a really fair question. Um, you know, for any theoretical framework where you're trying to describe things, if there's a big intellectual leap, right, and for example, extra dimensions is a pretty big leap, um, you have to justify that with a payoff, right? You have to say, what is the benefit that I'm going to give you in terms of, you know, structure and predictions and, and you know, what you're learning from this theory. So to push back on the, you know, how are we going to test it? Um, let me observe first that in uh, particle theory in general, the time scales between predicting structure in particle theory and then being able to see it in experiment over the last half century have gone, you know, increased in size considerably. So one example of this is the prediction of the Higgs boson made by Peter Higgs, which took about 50 years from the prediction that this particle should exist to its observation at the LHC. That means the theorists are just way ahead of the experimentalist. Right. You got some deadbeat experimentalists. <laughs> I, I would not say that at all. I would say that that dialogue of theory and experiment is really important, but I'm just pointing out that direct experiment of, you know, direct verification by experiment of lots of things is hard. That doesn't mean that one shouldn't do it. It just means that, you know, you have to, to be deciding what timescales are relevant for that question. 